Hi folks. Uh, this movie of the week is going to be a little bit uh, different um, because this movie of the week is going to be the biblical film The Son of God, which just came out a few weeks ago. So uh, I had a chance to see this with my church, so uh, we're going to take a look at some uh, photos and uh, some, uh, some little video inside the theater and uh, we'll roll the trailer and I'll come back with a review. Do you need help? There's nothing to help with. What are you doing? Going fishing. I'm telling you, there's no fish out there. How did this happen? Come with me. What are we going to do? Change the world. Your sins are forgiven, my son. I thought only God could do that. Which is easier, to say his sins are forgiven, or say he get up and walk? I've had reports of a young prophet of Nazareth. It's rumored he works miracles. They all do. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Pray to him, and he will listen. Five thousand came to see him. Five thousand. If your hunger for righteousness will be filled through me. Who knows what Pilate will do if the crowds run out of control? That man, Judas, he wants to help us. I will crush any rebellion. Save us from the Romans, Lord! There is something unusual about him. We must arrest this false prophet. But what if he is who they say he is? Won't somebody tell me? Peter, come. Answer if you can. One of you here will betray me to my enemies. I want someone to tell me what is the soul of a man? Jesus of Nazareth, you are charged with blasphemy. He has employed demons to heal. He threatened to destroy the temple. Tell us, are you the son of God? I am. So the Son of God, released by 20th Century Fox, produced by Robin Dow Roma Downey and Mark Burnett. Uh, this film uh, is based off the Bible miniseries. Uh, you may have seen this on the History Channel and on DVD and Blu-ray. Now, you may wonder why in the world did they ever decide to tell, just take the Christ section and just put it on the film? Uh, first of all, there is some major differences in between the miniseries and the feature film. Uh, yes, they did pull the majority of the footage from the miniseries. And, uh, however, they did go back and shoot a couple of scenes and a couple of other uh, features. Now, some things are completely different. 
Um, one of the things is uh, you just see the ministry. Uh, it's all about the ministry of Christ and the price that he paid. Uh, it's It doesn't go much further than that. It doesn't get into the specifics that, let's say, the miniseries did. The miniseries had three, was, uh, in, in terms of specifically on the, the story of Christ, was three uh, hour-long segments. So, obviously, this film is, you know, just over a couple of hours long. So, they condensed all that down to two hours and something. But uh, here's the thing. The, the, here's some of the major differences. The whole uh, character of Satan is omitted from the whole film. He you know, He's not present in the film, even though his, some of his actions are, but uh, the, the he's not present in the film. The narration is totally changed. Uh, in terms, if you watch the Bible miniseries, the whole series is narrated by Keith David, um, who's a famous actor, and uh, it's more like an author telling you the whole story, and uh, you know, just very, very straightforward narr narrator telling what's going on and you know what happened in in the in the time, and it gives a little bit of history. Now, with this film. Uh, this version, you know, Son of God, it's done from the Apostle John's perspective in terms of the narration. John, the Apostle John, is narrating the story. And he's telling the story as he saw it in the, in the first person. And so it brings a whole different approach and tone as compared to what was in the miniseries. Now, in terms of the overall quality of the movie, um, some crit uh, most of the critics are not very kind to it. Um, I, I can see why, because first of all, this is a film of religious content, and it's very touchy. You know, not everybody believes this way. And this film... You got to remember the the original intent for this story was television, and a lot of times things that are adapted for television don't adapt well to the big screen. However, the film does have that epicness of telling you know telling a biblical story. Um, uh, this is, I mean, it's rated PG-13. The crucifixion scene is quite powerful. Um, it's not as brutal as the Passion of the Christ. I mean, uh, you still get the, the, what the price that he paid for us. Um, but it's not brutal and through enormous amounts of brutality. Um. A really nice thing I like to see, I, I liked about this film, is I did like a lot of the politics that went on. Meaning that what was going on between the Jewish Sanhedrin and the Romans. However, it was missing King Herod. Um, it was missing, missing you know, King Herod's storyline altogether. Uh, the film is, is a decent watch. Um... I, you know, it's, each biblical film is made completely different, and uh, it's, it's very, it can be very touchy on how the whole Bible is depicted, so there is a few things that's in the film that uh, did not have it's not recorded in the bible and there's things in the bible that's not recorded in the film so uh do keep that in mind i mean there's no there's no 
possible way that you are going to be able to adapt a story as epic and as grand as the Bible and be faith extremely faithful to it. You can be close, but you will never be 100%. Because if you were to take... there's First of all, a studio could no Hollywood studio could afford this to tell the whole biblical Bible. I mean, they tried it back in the 1960s with John Huston, and after a huge amount of budget, it was probably the highest. If I think, if I remember correctly, it was the highest budgeted movie ever at that time, and it took five years to make, and they only told the first 22 chapters of Genesis. So if there's no way that you could possibly adapt the entire Bible onto the big screen and um, you can adapt stories. I mean, we've seen that before. The Christ story has been told many different times through many, 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 many films. Um, and of course, some other stories like uh, Noah's Ark and uh, the story of Moses, uh, David, you know, David and Goliath and uh, uh, Solomon and, you know, all those stories have been told in some form of, you know, f uh, film form. Um, the next, you know, and I'm looking forward to seeing Noah. I, you know, I, you know, a lot of, I've heard some terrible things at some preview screenings, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. So uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, there's my take on the Bible, uh, not the Bible. Well, it is from the Bible uh, miniseries, but uh, the Son of God uh, f uh, feature film. So, uh, from me to you, see you later.